Hello, hello. I'm just going to add some people here. Give me one second. Okay, so I wanted to talk on manifestation. I'm feeling it very strongly and uh, being stuck. So I've been uh, reading up a little bit about the subconscious mind and, you know, everything that I've learned in the last year and a half. And what I wanted to talk about is the science behind it, because sometimes when you understand the brain a little bit more, you understand why you need to do certain things and why the the book, The Magic, is so important. So um, we have this beautiful thing called uh, neuroplasticity. So we have um, ways to work on the brain to rewire it. So um, our, our brain is made up of uh, a hundred hundreds of billions of neural pathways. So connections is the way you can look at it. Um, and we decide how these connections are going to be strengthened. So when we're strengthening uh, these, you know, billions of connections that we have in our brain, sometimes we work on autopilot. Hi, June. So when we're on autopilot, you know, the path of least resistance is usually stress, is negativity, is strengthening these uh, deep core beliefs that we have of we have to work hard for what we deserve, um, you know, that money is bad, that, you know, the world is hard to live in, all of these things that we've kind of, you know, we, we had uh, something happen when we were young that form this connection in our brain, this say belief, um, and we've strengthened it over time in our experiences. So we, we have this negative experience that, you know, we have to work hard. Uh, this is just an example that we have to work hard in order to deserve what we get. And then we experience these other connections in life that, that, you know, take this one belief and cr strengthen um, the neuroplasticity between the connection and we create. So we choose um, getting to a point where we believe um, in gratitude and the greatness in life and we we open up to these um, these uh, ideas that you know we can manifest with ease takes you know time and dedication and that's what the 28 days does is um, strengthens our positivity and our gratitude uh, neural pathways so you know neuroplasticity takes time you have to repeatedly do something over and over again so giving yourself the the gift of of the time and dedication of the 28 days helps rewire and strengthen those connections um, opening yourself up subconsciously to manifestation it takes time it takes dedication um, and it takes um, you know patterns you the subconscious mind needs to be uh, used over and over again in order to strengthen that connection so if you're feeling stuck in your manifestation, it could be some core beliefs that you have. And this takes, you know, uh, the time and the repeated going over and over again. So if you're, you're not, you know, able to, to manifest and, and you're watching others, you know, flow through this, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get there. It just means you need to take time. And, you know, I, like my message says, the core belief that I deserve this, the core belief that, you know, things do come with ease, that I can play and I can have fun, uh, starts with, you know, forming these, these neural pla pathways, plasticity, I was going to say <laughs> the wrong one. So when we understand how our brain works, we can open ourselves up to, hi, hi, Twinny, uh, we can open ourselves up to understanding how to manifest how to create these pathways that are strengthened in and and 
strengthened to our core of what we want. We want gratitude because gratitude is that energy that we want to omit that is going to help attract these things to ourselves. And I know on the outside, we all understand that uh, manifesting and gratitude come hand in hand, but uh, we don't always think how we need to do the entire 20 day challenge to properly uh, strengthen this connection to gratitude. I, I knew gratitude, but to make it something that just subconsciously happens needs to be the 28 days. And that's why we focus on Rhonda Byrne's book, The Magic, a lot because it helps show different ways to create and focus on, on gratitude to like a very fundamental way, like gratitude in the water that we're drinking, gratitude for everything. So if you're feeling stuck, it could be, you know, multiple things that you are believing that need to be reprogrammed. And that isn't going to happen with a Reiki session. That isn't going to happen with a snap of your fingers. It, it needs to be something reprogrammed in your brain. So when you can understand that, um, yes, I'm doing many things right, but I need to do them repeatedly um, to strengthen these pathways and these connections in our brain, that's when you can start seeing magic happen. And that's what, you know, Rhonda Byrne has done in her beautiful book, uh, The Magic. Now, I have tried to go through the magic probably about seven or eight times, and I um, haven't been able to get through it until Tracy and I did it. I think it was 2018. I had just gotten to a place where I had had enough and I needed to you know, do the 28 days and it took energy. I had to really focus on it and I had to stop making the excuses and I had to, you know, form these connections and I did it. Um, I've successfully out of probably about seven or eight times done it two times the entire 28 days. Um, and I think it's a really important process to, and it doesn't have to be the magic. It can be whatever positivity that you need to focus on, but you need to do the same thing for at least 21 days in a row to reprogram your subconscious mind. So when we're, you know, feeling stuck in this, like, you know, I'm watching everybody else manifest and, you know, things aren't flowing to me, uh, start focusing on your self-care and self-care is giving yourself enough time to do these things. So when we're giving ourselves these excuses, we're, we're going on autopilot and we're going into this, the easy pathways, the easy already created pathways that are not positive. You know, I don't have enough time. Okay. Well, I understand we all have families, we all have work, we all have, um, commitments that we have to do, but there's also getting up and giving ourselves enough time, that dedication to, uh, strengthen these neural pathways in our brain. So when we strengthen them and we create this unshakable bond in our brain, that's what automatically happens. So in order to do that, you need to give yourself the self-care of time. And, and that is dedicating yourself, not just to working out, but the same thing with working out. When you're trying to create a healthy lifestyle, you have to do it consistently and you have to do it in your mind. You have to tell yourself that this is, you know, for the benefit of my self care and create those neural pathways. And that's how, you know, success is happen happens. It's not just physically, it has to be mentally. It all starts mentally. So if you're trying to manifest, uh, that's my, my biggest, uh, key that I've learned in the last probably three years is, the science behind what it is I'm doing and the idea of, you know, loving myself enough not to give up. So each time I try to start something new, I understand that it, it's going to take 20, 21 days to reprogram that and strengthen those pathways and, you know, stretch that neuroplasticity that we have into learning something new and creating a new habit and a new bond. Uh, you, you don't just work out for one week and then suddenly it's this new habit that's, that's easy and uh, able to happen. You know, if we don't strengthen these core beliefs in our mind that you're creating a new habit and why you're creating it and the energy and the belief behind that, you're going to sleep in and you're going to create excuses and you, you aren't going to work out on a consistent basis. It's the same thing with manifesting. It's just like working out and creating that 
that um, habit that you have. You have to continue to do it daily. You, you have to stop making the excuses and start focusing on, you know, strengthening those connections that you want. And that's gratitude. It's not just positivity. I feel like we love to focus on positivity and we just need to be happy. Okay. It's not about that. It's about gratitude and feeling that and it becoming such a habit that you're doing it without thinking about it. You're doing it on a daily basis where you don't have to write it down anymore. You don't have to focus on constantly thinking it. You can't, you, you just, you, you, you believe it to a point where you're living it. You're, you're pouring that glass of water and you're thinking, well, how lucky and grateful am I to have running water when there's, there's so many people in the world that, you know, are drinking from a mud puddle that are not necessarily being able to even feed their body the nourishment that they need. Um, so this is kind of my rant today. I guess it's not really a rant, but it feels like it when I'm sitting here talking to myself. Um, I just know that there was so many times and part of the reason that we created this group was feeling stuck and wanting to help and wanting to share the things that we've learned. And if there's anything that I've learned from neuro linguistics programming, it's uh, the, the, um, the science behind how our, our mind works and the connections that we do. So when we talk about doing subconscious reprogramming, you can do that with subliminal messaging through YouTube. There's a number of them that are really good that have affirmations and we all know how powerful affirmations are. So doing it 21 days in a row is strengthening that connection bond between our mind and creating pathways that are um, going to help with uh, the connection with the universe and the, the gratitude and that, that energy that we want to bring to ourselves. So when I first started, I remember being in this um, uh, energy of almost desperation. I just, I was in a, a place where I just desperately needed more money. I was unhappy. And now I see how I, uh, I was strengthening these negative bonds with this desperation. Um, I had lots, I had lost my hearing in my right ear for one day due to wearing masks. That's interesting. Um, you know, you can make yourself a headband with, um, buttons on it that you can put the ear earpiece around. Um, a lot of people in the healthcare system are, are doing that. I love you, Sandra. Very grateful to have my hearing back in my right ear. That's right. So if you do that great gratitude for 21 days, you're, you're going to help un, unstuck your unstuck. You're going to help stop being unstuck. So another thing that I know spirit was giving me was Tracy and I were talking about our awareness of um, our, you know, negative beliefs around money and wealth. And one of those that I know is a core belief of mine that I've been working on is the belief that I have to work hard to, um, have abundance to, to deserve. Um, and that is a huge block. That is something that I have strengthened over and over and over and over and over again in my mind. And it's going to take time to focus on the fact that you don't have to, you can, you can live an abundant life anytime you want. So, um, that's not just going to happen overnight. I have to do that 21 days repeatedly over and over again to, uh, create new pathways. And that's what I've been doing these past few years. And that's, hi, hi, Deanne. Um, and that's, you know, where I am. And I just wanted to share, you know, the belief behind that. So, um, thanks for joining me and, uh, I have the whole week off, so I think I might, uh, start a healing circle here, maybe today or tomorrow, depending on, uh, how my day goes, but I'm going to sign off now because I know whoever joined is who needs to hear this message. And those of you that want to hear the entire message, you can listen to the replay after as to how to go about it. So, I love you all. Just wanted to jump on and thought it would be easier than creating another massive post. <laughs> Bye.